Hello guys and welcome to all those training to become Super Saiyans. This is Revolution. So obviously the Dragon Ball Super smoke has cleared and we've had a chance to analyse everything. We know the Ultra Instinct technique, we know how strong Jir and the Grey is. Basically it was amazing. But there are some little things that have been overlooked in the community. Basically because the fight scenes were so epic, that's all we've been concentrating on, not just the fight scenes, the transformation as well. It basically seemed like those two episodes were mainly focused on action, but in the midst of it all, there were some character development. Now, it wasn't a massive amount of character development, but it definitely poses a question going forward in the Dragon Ball Super series, especially within the universe survival arc. And if you've been following my channel for long, you'll know I like talking about things that could happen in the future. I love talking about hypothetical situations and even creating theories. So this isn't a theory. This is just me putting out some ideas on what this certain topic could wield. But the topic is, as you could probably guess by the name of the video, is what will Jiren wish for? when he gets the Super Dragon Balls. Now, in terms of Jiren, we haven't had that much character development yet. He has largely been waiting in the shadows, saving his stamina in this tournament of power. I'm not really sure he needed to, judging off what we've just witnessed, but that is what he has been doing. Maybe Vermouth was waiting for Goku to demonstrate his full power before he set Jiren on him, because that is literally what happened. Jiren was waiting for the core to literally go and fight Goku. He wasn't scared of Goku by any means, but there was obviously a strategy in place by Universe 11. What that entire strategy is remains to be seen, but we can say now that it has in effect failed because obviously he was sent to squash Goku. And whilst he did squash Goku for quite a while and Goku's ultimate instinct form basically burnt out, so Jiren won really, but Goku is still in the tournament, but from the few things we learned from the Dragon Ball Super Specials is that Jiren is a full-on warrior. Not that that comes as a surprise to anyone, but he is a warrior that likes to demonstrate his dominance and power over his opponents, and that dominance even led him to allow Goku to charge up a Genki Dharma. Now, <laughs> That is self-confidence. The fact that he has that much self-assurance that he can take the opponent's strongest attack, then not only just take it, but then eventually allow himself to use his will to push it back at an opponent who is very capable, as confirmed by the Universe 11 Supreme Kai. It just emphasizes how powerful Jiren is. Even Beerus couldn't believe when Jiren charged up how much power he was exerting for a singular being. Now the question is, what does this really powerful being want with the Super Dragon Balls? In episode 109, when Toppo is basically cheerleading for Jiren, he states that fight to your heart's content to get your wish of obtaining the Super Dragon Balls. Now obviously the ultimate goal in this tournament is to help your universe win the tournament, otherwise you pretty much aren't going to survive, so getting the Super Dragon Balls would be useless anyway, because you won't be able to make the wish. But by being the MVP of this tournament, you get an extra award, which is the Super Dragon Balls. Now. The Super Dragon Balls are kind of like a Man of the Match award. That's what we call it when a Premier League player in English soccer gets awarded the best player of the match. I don't know if that's what you call it in America. It might just be MVP. I don't know. Let me know in the comments section. But that is essentially what it is. It's just an extra award. But we now know that Jiren has those desires to achieve that award. So obviously attaining the Super Dragon Balls would be awesome for anybody. But if it's his wish and his dream to do so, that pertains to the fact that he really has a motivation behind obtaining these. So what could his motive be by using the Super Dragon Balls? Now, I'll just stress this again, guys. This is a video on hypothetical situations. Take it with a pinch of salt. The context of this video is to ask you guys what you believe could be the motive behind Jiren's wish. And I'll give a few examples of what I believe his motive might be. But it is just me basically having a guess. Look guys, on this, you can't possibly be wrong. 
unless you've got Akira Toriyama sitting next to you now telling you what's going to happen, which I know full well you haven't, then you can't be wrong. Just have fun with it. I did do this in another video not too long ago and a lot of people took it out of context, but I've said it now, don't take it out of context. So what is Jiren's motivation? Well, for a mortal, Jiren has an incredible amount of power. How he has acquired that remains to be seen. And even a Supreme Kai from another universe stated that Jiren hasn't obtained this level of power through the normal means. I mean, considering this seems to be his base power is absolutely incredible. Consider that with Goku's actual base power, it is an astonishingly large gap. But what it shows is he has the capability to keep increasing his power at an extraordinary rate. We don't really know how old Jiren is, but he has maintained that level of power. So what exactly could he want with more power? So if his desire is to increase his power by using the Dragon Balls, what exactly can he achieve with that? Well, we already know that it's an Akai Shin level, if not stronger than the Akai Shin. So he doesn't need to beat down Vermouth or Beerus, anyone like that. He might not be the strongest, we don't know that fully yet, but he's at least on their level. He can at least take them on without getting squashed. But then of course we have the Angels. Does Jiren have beef with the Angels? Now, it's hard to imagine he has beef with the attendant angels. I think if he was to have a problem with anyone, it might be the Daishinkan. Maybe they have history, though I think we may have saw something in the Daishinkan's reception of Jiren when observing the fight. But if his wish would be to acquire more power, that's the kind of person that he would want to take on. So that begs that question. But a lot of people in the community are debating whether he was a god of destruction himself at one point. Now, I find this extremely unlikely. One, because surely some of the gods of destruction would recognise him. Sure, it is possible that he was a god of destruction many millions of years ago. We know Beerus is millions of years old himself, so it would have to be a long time ago. And maybe he's just been waiting for the opportunity to rekindle his status but at the same time then the Daishinkan once again and even Zeno would recognize him so I just don't see that as a plausible scenario you never know maybe you never really know with Dragon Ball but I think what could be more likely is that Jiren was a god of destruction of one of the erased universes now we told Goku that there used to be 18 universes in total and Zeno got angry and wiped them out. Now it's remained a mystery ever since on what exactly caused Zeno to erase those universes, but there must have been some opposition to what he did. Now we've seen Zeno erase universes before, and that was way back in the Future Trunk saga, when he saw that the world at that time had clearly gone amiss. He had saw what Future Zamasu had done to the world, and chose to erase it because he didn't like what he saw. So obviously in those six universes, there was something that he didn't like. Is it possible that Jiren was one of the gods of destructions to one of those universes? Once again, you'd think that the Daishinkan would recognize him or even Zeno. So once again, it could happen, but it seems unlikely. But I think we should stick with those six universes because there's a lot of mystery around them and there's a lot of mystery around Jiren. So what if he was just a being from those universes and he found a way to escape? And his ultimate goal is to wish back all the universes that have been erased. Now, a lot of people have speculated that the universes that are erased in this tournament would be wished back. And some people have even gone on further to say that the six previously erased universes will accidentally get wished back with them. What if Jiren is intentionally trying to bring those universes back? Now, I'm sure you've all seen the spoilers about that new toy that's coming out that basically spoils for us the fact that there is a new character coming to the Tournament of Power. If you look at the silhouette of that character on your screen now, it looks remarkably like Jiren. I am not saying it's Jiren. I don't believe it's Jiren. But if Jiren had a race, that character looks like they could be from the same race. Now, here's a wacky theory for you. What if Jiren is the son of an extremely powerful race that were causing an uproar in one of those six erased universes and they oppose Zeno? 
But just as Zeno went to erase all those universes, they sent Jiren out as a baby, kind of like Goku, but even more so like Superman from Krypton, as Krypton was about to go extinct, possibly just like those erased universes. Anyway, I know that's wacky, but it would definitely be an interesting concept. And Jiren is now at the point where he has the Dragon Balls to literally wish them all back. I mean, if he only wished a family member back or a race member back, that wouldn't bring all of Universe 7 back. So the Dragon Ball Super story would be pretty much over. So he would have to wish for all the universes that have been erased to come back. Some people have speculated that Jiren is under Vermouth's control. However, I don't think that's the case because in the preliminaries to the Tournament of Power, Toppo was literally telling them about Jiren. So unless Vermouth has gained some sort of control over him in that 40 hour period from the preliminaries to the Tournament of Power, I think it's a highly unlikely scenario. Anyway guys, it's quite clear that Jiren has a secret motive. Now, if you've got any ideas on what that motive might be, I want you to drop it in the comment section. Remember, we are just speculating. There is nothing stupid and there is nothing wrong with speculating, as long as you also understand that it isn't factual or concrete and I'm quite confident that most of you get that. So let me know what you think. If you like my videos, make sure you smash that like button with a big bang attack and remember one very important final message. If you stay calm in any vexing situation, you will never, e -e -e ever become a Super Saiyan. Make sure you click that subscribe button to make sure you get all my latest content straight to your account as soon as it's released. And here are some more videos from my library, which I'm sure you will all enjoy.